right, here we go. Today's drill is going to be First Seed Company uh, Water Rescue Operations. I sent out the uh, Vector Solution, all our uh, the link to the activity, all the outlines are in there. So hopefully you guys got a chance to look at our, our responses and kind of how we operate. The incident scenario is going to play out like this. We're going to use today's date, today's time, the weather. Um, the location is going to be Avery's Quarry. It's a thousand foot by 1200 feet. Okay, so if you looked on Flow MSP, this is what it's going to look like. All right, <clears throat> you can kind of see here, we're standing right here. You come up to a beach area, it's very limited access around here, right? You have this house over here, a lot of this stuff is going to be on foot if you had to come out this way. People do use their boats, they come out here on jet skis. Um, for the purposes of this drill today, there is a dock there that's going to be for us. That dock is off limits for you guys. Okay, all right. So the situation is going to, oh, back to Avery's Court. It is, it is uh, 60 feet deep in the center. And then also it got really good visibility. The temperature is about 70 degrees, okay? The situation is gonna be your company is returning from a fire from Stone Bluff, which is the subdivision right here. And basically you're coming down the frontage road. You'll stage here and I will dispatch you on Talk Channel 4. So you guys will go all, we'll be doing the comms on Talk Channel 4. And once I dispatch you, I'll tell you, the, I'll give you the scenario, and then you're going to roll up and then give me a size up, you know, dispatch. And then uh, when I dispatch you, I will automatically give you the water rescue response. So you're going to get multiple ambulances, other engines, and the dive team coming, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, one thing, if you don't hear me say it, then just kind of make sure you remind me, hey, dispatch, get, uh, get the dive box going or get the dive response going. Uh, you'll have the scenario up there. Uh, you're, it's it's a full scenario, full blown out scenario. There's a car in the water. We got victims in the water. So com communications with the victim is going to be very important. So you know that there's uh, that there's there's that technique where we use where we go out in the water. We have the suit on, right? And you, you put the tether on them, and then you have the little leash where it has the the ring. Where that is one option that you can use. Okay. There's two ways to deploy that, one on your back with your flips, with your flippers on, okay, and then kind of swimming out there while the officer guides you. Remember that? The other way is you could actually turn around in that suit and swim forward. The older suits, be careful because they're not designed for like, you know, getting water like that, so you'll get a lot of water inside there. It is a really, you know, it is a good flotation device, so it's not going to sink you. The other new one, the other new technique is going to be putting this on over your clothes, ditching your shoes, and taking off, okay? Now, this, this technique is only going to be used when you have visual contact with a victim in the water. So if you see someone in the water screaming, help, help, I can't swim, and you, and you see them going down, and you wanna use this method, you know, you're gonna put the vest on, you're still gonna make sure the person's tethered, okay? And I'll, I'll go over that in a minute. Make sure they're tethered, and they bring the ring with them. So it's the same operation as we're doing, it's just using the PFD. This method here, we've tried it multiple times, it works pretty impressive. Now, the other thing is, is the skill of the, of the rescuer, the swimmer, okay? You gotta be very comfortable, you gotta know how to swim, obviously, to make this thing work the right way. Um, and ultimately, it's up to the officer's discretion. If the, officer's off, if the officer says, hey, no go, put the suit on, that's what you do. Everybody understand that? Okay, so we have this vest. Each vest, each vest is should be in the bag or should be wrapped around the other suit, the suit, the other water rescue suit, okay? If it's not, make sure that gets done today. So that this is either in the bag with the suit or wrapped around it, sitting up in your inside of your cab so that you have your options. Why can't we use the other uh, PFDs? Is because they're not designed for, this is like a swift water suit and you'll see the tether here in the back. Okay, number one, when you put this on, you're gonna make sure all the straps are nice and tight. You don't want this thing to ride up. Number two, this ring here, it's on a separate strap from the PFD. So um, you would actually do the same operation. You're gonna clip into the end, okay? Take the, the little um, um, noodle. sling, the noodle, put it over your, 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 um, your shoulder, and then you'll go out there. So this thing here, I'm gonna show you guys here. When you thread this through, okay, you're gonna start from the back, make sure that lays flat, right? Come through the top, 
so it lays flat. Then you flip this over and it goes through the buckle. That's it. This does not have to be super, super tight, okay? Like these straps here, this is just, this is your tether. So when you actually tell them, hey, pull me in, they're pulling this, okay? Um, for some reason, if you're out there and you're tethered off, okay? Um, and say you go around a car and your rope gets hooked on the car and it starts pushing the car underneath, right? This is gonna pull you down. So this is when you would take this here, pull it, and it's gonna detach. This is going to detach from the vest and this thing pulls off, okay? And then you can kind of swim to, to safety. Any questions on this? No? All right, so what we'll do next is uh, we'll go ahead and have you guys uh, just get in the rig, discuss what you're gonna do, and then when I get down there, make sure that the uh, uh, instructors are all set, and then I'll dispatch you, okay? Leave the ammo here.